got a little hiccup here. <laughs> I can smell the fumes of the gasoline here in Tennessee. There's so much wild and crazy stuff here. It's hard to describe, but you have to attend because I've used it my whole life. I'm Justin with Warren Industries, and we're at the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. Let's go! Woo! The annual pilgrimage to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee has become a must-attend event for Jeep lovers across the world, welcoming over 12 million visitors every year. Whether you're a seasoned off-roader or just getting your tires dirty, this event is a celebration of all things Jeep. Located about an hour and a half away from Pigeon Forge, Wind Rock Park is an off-roader's paradise with over 72,000 acres of trails ranging from mild to wild it's here that the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion reaches its peak, the infamous Wheeling with Warren event. Buckle up, air down, and get ready to witness these Jeeps conquer the wild. All right, so Thursday morning, first day of the official Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. Got the crew down at the show with the merchandise and talking to everybody. And uh, we're out here pre-running for Wheeling with Warren on Sunday. Hoping for you know 200 or so of our closest friends come out here and join us for a, a good day of wheeling and putting all of our products and ourselves to the test. We're gonna find some great trails, make sure we can uh, find a challenge for everybody or uh, find a good learning spot for people that uh, just getting into it. So. Legend is a big, tall, crawling Jeep. The suspension is really, really soft. So if you're pulling on just one side of it, we're gonna really yank on the suspension hard. So we wanted a nice straight pull on this, on this one where we, where we used them as an anchor. So hooked up a bridle, used both toe points on the front bumper, but that way we're pulling equally on the frame. And we're also pulling right from the center of the vehicle. We got the brand new Xeon XD on the front of this one. So we're gonna put it to the test, getting through the obstacle with uh, all the tools we've got available to us. Oh, wow. This is a one fast winch. So I never had to wait for the winch. Four low, first gear, just crawling in. I actually had to give it gas to keep up with the winch. That was awesome. That was so easy to drive. I didn't have to worry about driving on the cable. And you notice as it, you know, as it kind of pitched and dropped into the holes, the winch cable kept that front end down and I never really felt like it was gonna go over backwards. That winch cable just keeps it nice and controlled. And even though the front end was, shoot, we were like 70 degrees vertical right there at the end. This new XD is just, is just beyond belief. The all new Xeon XD boasts industry leading blazing fast line speeds, ensuring for quick and efficient recoveries. Its robust IP68 and 69 waterproof construction keeps it protected even in the harshest conditions. The versatile control options, including wireless operation via the Warren Hub app and wired remote, provide ultimate convenience and safety during recoveries. Hello, everyone. We're gonna wait for some people to log in here. So Brad, how's so the weather out there? So it's hot today out there. It's hot. Right? Uh, it's actually really nice because it hasn't rained out here since Sunday. Trails are nice and dry. Uh, lots of traction, but just a little bit of dust, but it's, uh, it's beautiful. Man, it's been cool in the mornings. Yeah, everybody needs to come out here and join us on, uh, on Sunday. Uh, for everybody that's listening in, if you're here in around Tennessee, you're here at Smoky Mountain. Uh, we have Wheeling with Warren at Wind Rock Off-Road Park starting on Sunday. What, what's that shirt you're wearing there, Tim? Wheeling with Warren. So, so how do I get my Wheeling with Warren t-shirt, Tim? You have to come Wheeling with Warren. Be here 9 a.m. at the semi Sunday morning. Only one way to get that shirt, man. Yeah, man, that shirt is wrapped. Like, you want to get that shirt, you got to show up and come Wheeling with us, man. And we're going to hook you up. You get that shirt for free. All right, Justin, we're going to get out of the heat. We're going to hit the trail. Uh, we're going to go scout some more and uh, try out some winches. We're at the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And I love this. As a Jeep enthusiast and as a Jeep owner, all I can think about is being out in the trail and wheeling and checking out new products. 
and the best companies and the best people in the world are right here. I came out here to Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. I've never been to this event before and it pretty much blew my mind. There's so much wild and crazy stuff here. Everything you could imagine that anybody would ever put on a Jeep, whether it's more plastic ducts than you could imagine or aftermarket axles, suspension, steering components. The sights, the sounds, the smells, man, the food is here. You got Tennessee whiskey, you got it all, man, right here. It's hard to describe, but you have to attend in order to, to experience it. That's the only thing, yeah. Best thing, the crescendo of the week, the stamp at the end, is to go wheeling with Warren at Wind Rock Off-Road Park. But I think now is getting time to go wheeling. I'm excited, I need, to, uh, I need some rev limiter, you know? So we're gonna send it. I have to ask why because I've used it my whole life since I was 16 years old, and that's the only winch that hasn't failed me. Hey, while you're waiting, listen to this. Fab Fours, made in America. We've got what you need for your truck, Jeep, and side-by-side. -side. Looking for a front bumper? Yeah, we got it. Looking for a rear bumper? Oh yeah, we got it. Looking for that extra protection for your truck, Jeep, and side-by-side? -side? Look no further. Fab Fours, made in America. You live in America, it's made in America. It's a max made in heaven. Head on over to Fab Fours. Oh yeah! Guys, we're here this morning, wheeling with Warren at Wind Rock. Finally, it is built up to getting out on the trail. So this is the sixth year that this has happened. To come wheeling at this beautiful park, we've got close to 14 trail rides that are happening today. So we got some guys that are gonna do the most hardcore trails in this park, and some are just gonna do some scenic overlooks. But you know what? That's what it's all about here, man, is to have this community be together and getting on the trail. I can smell the fumes of the gasoline in the morning here in Tennessee. This grew from like 14, 15 rigs to, uh, to what you see today. Don't push anything too far if you're not comfortable. Nobody's here making you do anything. Another axle shaft by stuff. You can always back out. We can always pull winch cable. No shame in pulling winch cable on a Warren ride ever. You know, everybody's got fuel, everybody's got passes. Uh, we'll start rolling, rolling lines out here in uh, about five minutes. Here we go. I have no idea what I'm running yet, but hopefully it's good. I love Warren, and I love putting on a show. So let's hope we don't land on our lid today. Maybe we break something, maybe we don't. Center recovery team, keep your cell phone on you. I've never ridden with Warren before. This is our first time, and I'm stoked to get going. And we are gonna tear some stuff, not Figuratively tear stuff up. But we're gonna have an amazing time. I was told this is where the all the fun and the fun, the good kids and the happy times are at. What's uh, going on? What are you getting today? All kinds of good stuff. <laughs> is it Christmas? Yeah, it seems like it. <laughs> Our chase vehicle today is a new Bronco running the Fabtech 3 inch lift with the Fabtech Dirt Logic coilovers. Today, Brad and all of us in here are just running around making sure everything's going well on the Wheeling with Warren run out here in Windrock. We're gonna run up to the top of Walden Ridge and see what's going on. Try to catch one of our first groups that went out and see what's up. The first part is the nasty obstacle to get on the ridge. If you make a wrong move on that part, you're going off the other side of a 2,000 foot cliff. So we're just high centered on the rear diff and it's just a little teetery and you know, it's straight down over there. So you're just gonna hook a cable and be safe. That is better safe than sorry. Didn't, didn't want to roll the wife's Jeep off the hill. Cole from Clemson Off-Road got the guy off, but it's pretty gnarly. And we're off to the next one. It's 11.30. That's the place to catch him. Okay. okay. Yeah, this will work. We're working around the, the park here, just trying to get to each group and uh, check on their progress. So on uh, which trail will it be? G50, and we're gonna try to catch the guys on trail 51. This is known also as Panther Rock. We're gonna to try to catch up with the group that's out here. See, we're just putting into four low right now. And yeah, we're gonna take it up, see where it's going. Hey, 
dude! <laughs> what up? You made it to the best trail of the day. The one with Mr. Carnius, guys. What up? <laughs> trail 51 is a, it's called Panther Rock, and it's a trail bash. It's supposed to be a super fun trail, and it's pretty sketchy so far, so. Smokers! Passenger, passenger, go, 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 stay over here. You're gonna feel the rear hit that root. It's gonna feel weird, but you're fine. There you go. There you go. This is a good trail. This is the 51. Uh, we come with uh, Mr. Carnage and William. Thank you, William. You can go on that side and get muddy, or you can just come this way and just crawl it like a bus. <laughs> so I like to encourage my drivers by bullying them. And it's not bullying, it's coaching. I thought this was Panther Rock, Will. This is Panther Rock. It's all dirt and mud. <laughs> oh, it's it's a it's a Panther Rock that had diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't gotten to the rock part yet. But okay. We're good. The group is moving through, so Brad and I are going to head out to the next trail. What is that trail, Brad? Uh, I think we're going to probably try to catch 16 on our way back in. Okay, gotcha. Cool. We're going to head over to 16. I don't know what that means, but I'll find out soon enough. Bye! Bye. We love you! Goodbye, everyone! I'm, I'm running now, which is <laughs> scary! Brad knows how to drive. Brad is a driver, and so he's getting us around fast, and it's really working out well for us. Our Dirt Logic shocks are absorbing this trail on our Bronco, and so it's been really nice. We do get we get jostled around because we're going fast, but it's absorbing those bumps easily. Well, yeah, we had a few, we had a few situations already, so. Um, so we have a YJ in our group. It's his first time wheeling. It's bone stock. His transfer case is only in four high and he has no lockers. And he's on maybe 33s, might even be smaller than that. Hey, We're on a double black trail, my friends. And yeah, he already put it over to on its side once. He got a little hiccup here. <laughs> Almost crushed me. I've never jumped so high in my life. Uh, but yeah, factor 55 and a good worn. And we had him back up on his feet. Winched him a couple more times after that, and this is how we got here. <laughs> <laughs> he at least got lost. This is the certificate you can win today. If you really put some extra effort in, that's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go check on the bigger groups now up on Rattle Rock, a school bus. Uh, we got a whole bunch of activity right in one little, one little pocket there, so we'll go check on the progress of those guys. Screech, I don't know. I don't know. That's all I've heard the whole trail. We're through the first third of the Rattle Rock Trail. We're making great time. It's some of the most extreme rock crawling I've ever seen. And no more winching. <laughs> Although Warren works great, no more winching. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I heard the yeah. See where it hit. Just hit right there and pop the bead. The media crew becomes part of the story. You know, so it should be hopping around, getting multiple groups. I'm gonna try, get him some help, tell him where, where he is, and then me get another ride, get to another location on the mountain. Ah, she lives. Uh, what trail number is this? I don't know, actually. 13? 13? 13. 13. And uh, we got a little little turtle action. Like this, you can see how you see how big this noose is open in this way. One thing that we can do in this situation, go through the multi-mount here. And you see how wide that is, right? It's not gonna self-tighten under here because it looks like the knot's already been pulled through this. That's what's happened. So there's the normal noose of where that would be at. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go right through this side and then we're gonna wrap it around the back side of the knot. Sometimes you gotta do this stuff on the fly, right? because you don't know what you have. But if you buy quality USA made gear, you don't have those problems. We're on, I think, trail, is this trail 36? And uh, we were trying to cross over a little school bus and we were doing real good until it popped over the top of it and then it landed. And when it landed, that front 
driver tire grabbed and broke my inner and outer axle shaft and about 20 pieces. Winched around the corner twice. We're 50 foot at a time. Ah. Okay, so you're three wheeling it? Sort of. You? We're making it, but uh, it's broken out. Who's broken down? Another axle shaft bites the dust. This is one of the harder trails here. So we got the guys who are on a big, big one tons, hemi swaps, massive axles and everything out here. We just helped winch the first Jeep up. Down there, another Jeep broke. I think there's a total of 10 down there and they got about half through, but it's gonna be a lot of winching today. So we're glad to have the Warren winch on the front and their Factor 55 recovery gear. They're gonna make this plastic like they used to. <laughs> He was bouncing on the on the, the obstacle and his rear drive shaft went out. They're removing that drive shaft right now and we're gonna be winching them out of here. A worn winch, yeah. Well hopefully they know that by now. With a worn winch, duh. <laughs> There you have it guys, wheeling with Warren at Windrock. What a fantastic day that we had. Look man, we're covered in mud. We got so many stories from the day. How epic was this? Thank you for joining us. We can't wait to see you next year. If you missed it this year, make sure you get out to the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion and meet us here at Windrock Off-Road Park for Wheeling with Warren. We out. Ah!